All right. Our learning goal. Given a written scenario, I can sketch a position versus time and velocity versus time graph. So here's our written scenario, and we want to sketch these two types of graphs. So let's look at our situation. A car starting from rest speeds up moving forward. So I would recommend breaking this sentence into, into different parts. So the first part is a car starting from rest. And that car speeds up and it's moving in the forward direction. So in class we learned if I have a position versus time graph, my slope is equal to the speed. So if a car is starting from rest, its speed is zero. When it's at rest, its speed is zero. So if its speed is zero, <coughs> its slope must also be zero at that point. So right at the beginning, when it's at rest, its slope has to be zero. So what does a zero slope look like? Well, we've got positive slope, zero slope, or negative slope. So at the beginning, our slope is zero. Then it speeds up. So its slope is going to increase if the speed increases. Moving forwards, well, that tells us which direction we should go. This would be moving forwards. This would be moving backwards, right? Our position, if we move this way, it's forwards, or if we move this way, it would be backwards. Okay, so car starting from rest speeds up moving forward. So eventually, if it's speeding up, it's going to have a positive speed if it's moving forward. So if it has a positive speed, it must also have a positive slope. Well, what does that look like? A well, positive slope is, is this one. So as time goes along, its slope gets larger and larger and larger. So let's try to visualize what's happening. Its slope is going to get larger and then larger and larger. So we can say this would be speeding up from rest. Now let's look at our velocity versus time. So this is the object speed. Again, this would be anywhere over here is a positive speed. Anywhere over here is a negative speed, or I should say negative velocity. So starting from rest, while well, its speed is zero, so its velocity is zero at the beginning. Speeds up, so again, we're going to have a positive velocity moving forwards, right, positive velocity. So after some period of time, we're going to have a positive velocity after some period of time. Okay, now if we can visualize what's happening, our speed starts from rest, and then as time goes along, its speed gets larger and larger and larger, 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 larger. Let's try another one. A car moving forward slows down to a stop. Okay, so car, it's moving forward. Let's just, let's just wor worry about that part first. Moving forwards. So my velocity is positive. I'm moving forward. So again, slope for this graph, only for this graph, slope is speed. So if I have, if I'm moving forward, I have a positive speed, so I must also have a positive slope. So at the beginning, a positive slope would look like this. Then it slows down. Okay, so my speed is slowing down. My speed is decreasing, so my slope must also be decreasing, meaning I'm going from a slope of a large slope to less of a slope, and eventually it comes to a stop. Zero speed, zero slope. So after a long period of time, I need to be I need to be stopped. 
So over time, at the end, I'm going to be stopped. My slope has to be getting less and less and less until I get to that stop. So we're going to get a curve like this. Now, my velocity versus time graph. Let's think what's happening here. Positive velocity at the beginning. Positive velocity. Then it slows down to a stop. So sl stop, my velocity is zero. So after some period of time, my velocity is going to be zero. Once we're stopped, we're going we're gonna to remain stopped. So my velocity stays at zero. So somehow I got to get from between these two points. So my velocity in this is decreasing. It's getting less, 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 less until I'm at a stop. Now we've got a car starting from rest. Okay. Speeding up, moving backwards. Ooh. Should tell you in the negative direction. Well, let's start with the first part. Starting from rest. Okay, starting from rest, I'll put it up here for my for my position versus time graph. My slope is my speed. So if I'm starting from rest, my speed is zero. So my slope is zero. Now it speeds up. So this is saying our slope is going to increase. But this tells me it's going backwards. So this is going to be like a negative, a negative velocity, right? We're going backwards now, not forwards, backwards. So if my velocity is negative after a while, it's going to, my slope is starting from zero and it's going to get more and more and more negative. So what does that look like? got a zero, zero velocity at the beginning, then it's getting more and more and more negative. So zero, then it's slightly negative, and then it's very negative. So slightly negative, more negative, more negative. So that's going to be curve going down this way. How about my velocity? We said at the beginning it's zero. And after a long period of time, it's negative, And it's getting more and more and more negative. So here, after some period of time, my velocity is going to be negative. So as time goes along, as time goes along, my velocity is getting more and more negative. Last one. A car moving backwards. So initially it's moving backwards, so its velocity is negative. Then it slows down to a stop, so now its velocity is zero. Now remember, for only my position versus time graph, slope is speed. So if my speed, my velocity is negative at the beginning, my slope is going to be negative. Let me write that again. If my speed is negative, my, my slope is going to be negative. So a negative slope looks like this at the beginning. Then eventually it comes to a stop. So my speed is zero. My slope needs to be zero. So I start with this slope and I need to end with this. So let's start with this slope and I know I need to end like this. So if you notice my slope is getting closer and closer to zero as time goes along. Now my velocity versus time graph initially velocity starts as negative and after a long time, my velocity is zero. 
So we've got to join these two points. Now, we've been saying this a lot in the lesson. Slope is equal to speed. So I just want to refresh you why this is. Slope is defined as rise all over the run. Now, again, I said this is only true for my position versus time graph. If I take any two points on my position time graph, my rise is this, and my run is this. Well, let's look what the rise is. My rise is my change in position. I'm going from this position to this position. So I can write that as my change in position. My run is, well, how much time has gone by, my change in time. So my rise is my change in position. My run is my change in time. So this is defined as when we were saying, well, what is, what is velocity? What is speed? We defined this as our speed. For example, I can go five meters per one second, or you drive on the highway 100 kilometers per hour. So this is, this is my speed. So you can see for this graph, it conveniently works out that my slope is my speed. So let's go back. Given a written scenario, I can sketch a position versus time and velocity versus time graph. Hopefully you can do that now.